They're like just super lazy. Oh, I forgot to act like a photographer. I apologize. <laughs> so today we're going to look at a four foot by six foot soft box. Now, the reason I got this is I like the umbrella quite a bit. I mean, that big round 70 inch umbrella is fantastic. But the floor to ceiling kind of stuff where, where I just need that floor to ceiling cover or the head to toe cover instead of floor to ceiling. That's, I'm just thinking floor to ceiling because in a regular place, this would be a floor to ceiling soft box. It's just so huge. Um, I, you know, I know you can't see the top of it. Let me see if I can swipe this up a little bit so you can see the top of it. Oh yeah, you can. There you go. Um, it's just massive. It is a massive, massive soft box. But <clears throat> I did a couple quick initial shots with it. Um, it my daughter is back. <laughs> Yay. Um, anyway, <laughs> we're, we're hoping to get another quick shoot in that's, you know, pleasant, which I'm sure we will. Uh, but she's having her hair uh, color touched up and, and then we're going to shoot. Um, but the first couple initial shots that I did with it prior to having her done, which I can't show you because she'd probably kill me. Um, I, I, I love the look and it does look like a giant window in the reflection in her eyes, uh, the catch light, which, which I like as well. Um, and I, I'm going to shoot this horizontally and vertically, I think, uh, just to see what it could do. But it does have that extra something that just the big round umbrella didn't. Um, and I haven't used a square box. Honest to God, I don't think, like as a main, because I've used rim lights, uh, you know, the side lights uh, before uh, for, for the rim lights, which I love. And I, I, I buy those Godox ones, uh, the Godox strips. They sell them in a two-pack. They're so inexpensive and they were so, so good. So if you ever want those, you know, side rim lights, uh, edge lights, whatever you want to call them. Uh, the Godox, that two pack that they have with the grids. Oh my God, they're fantastic. You know, it's just a great deal for, for what they are and how much they cost. Anyway, getting back to this one. Um, so this is four by six silver interior, double baffled, you know, like it, there's an interior diffusion and an exterior diffusion, which I'm definitely going to use. You know, I, I love the look of a scrim, um, and sh shooting light through that. But, you know, it is a small studio. You need a double stand for that, plus the stands for the lights, um, because I'm, I'd want to shoot two through it. And I just thought, you know, I just don't have the space for that. <laughs> so, so I don't know why I think I have a space for a four foot by six foot soft box, but it it does fit in here. It's, it's fitting fine in here, actually. Um, I'm going to shoot brown and white, I think. You know, as soon as my daughter comes, she goes, we're not using the brown, are we? And I love the brown uh, paper, uh, Savage. I don't know exactly what color it is, but you can see it's, it's brown <laughs> or whatever, cocoa, maybe. Um, and I'm using the D2, and it's only a 500 watt second light. Uh, you know, when I use giant scrims on set for like commercial shoots, I'm using 1000 watt second lights. For this, it's just a 500. I think it's going to do great. Um, I'm hoping. Uh, the initial shots I absolutely love, but I am going to show up, throw the white board up the uh, V flat uh, white side so I can get some kickback because uh, it just it was lacking on that side just a little bit. Um, not in a bad way, but I just want a little bit more of a pop. Anyway, so let's get into the shoot and see how it does. I'm, I'm excited for this because um, I, I really like the size of this light. Setup? Yeah, it's not as easy as a pop up, but it. It's easy. It took 10 minutes. Hi, guys. <laughs> I didn't even do my nails. Well. Now, I'm going to do everything I can to do a voiceover on top of the banter, but it's going to be tough. And if are, you get up, I'm going to apologize. Why didn't anybody answer the ladder question in the last video? Somebody did. What did they say? Not a metal ladder. All right, that's fair. Now, before you ask, yes, um, she is very comfortable in front of the camera. She is a professional content creator. That's what she does for a living. She is a, a, a much higher level than I will ever be um, in this industry, but uh, she loves it, and she's good at what she does. 
Uh, so if you were wondering, that's why she's like this in front of the camera. If you had any piece of advice to give to a young model, what would it be? You're talking about the one who took 24 years to <laughs> please her photographer father? Yeah, you don't want advice from me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to hear shit from me. Love them. See, for me, I feel like I'm moving and like posing more, not like artificially posing, like posing in a more natural and like way. Oh, 100%. I could be wrong, but I'm saying I don't feel like the it's translating onto the camera, which is not you, it's me. But when you it look at the feel photos, like emotional like the last shoot. But when you look at the photos like yeah. And you go, oh, I don't like this. Yeah. Okay, so you it don't looks like this stiff one. To me. Okay. Like, and my face is too, because I'm I'm miserable, so it's showing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, honestly, just blow everything out of your mind mm -hmm. and move, and don't think about posing. These little pieces of advice during a shoot are everything and help so much. And it's just reiterating what you've told your subjects over and over, but sometimes they need it, and especially if they had a hard day or coming into this a little stressed out like she is. Um, it's going to help in the long run um, just talking them through it and showing them the photos as you go. Sorry, I didn't mean that. You look fabulous. Every photo, it's like you're a top model. Oh, my God, look at you go, girl. Wow, that's it. Make it work. You go, girl. <laughs> I think I actually like that head back oh, one. You? Yeah. See? No, I hate it. That's pretty pathetic. That's pretty <laughs> yes. bad. It's, you don't want to see it. Now, as silly as that sounds, it does break her out of the mood and get her mind off of everything else. She was having fun. She was letting loose. And, and now she's going to, you know, do a little bit better during the shoot because, you know, I'm trying to make her forget everything that happened in her day. Um, you know, she started off the day with a blown out tire and, <laughs> and getting her hair done and not quite liking the cut. Um, so, you know, you just have to clear their mind, let them have fun, take them out of the moment. Don't worry about the photos. Who cares? Um, your photos will get better after this. You know, so if you have to blow a couple shots and have fun, do it. Um, you know, because at, at the end, it's about the end result. You're making that's like just two pretty. headshots. They're not like artsy. They're like just super lazy. Oh, I forgot to act like a photographer. I apologize. Now, if you're a photographer that shoots like this, I apologize. I'm not making fun of you. Maybe a little. <laughs> but anyway, my goal here is just to, you know, make her have fun, make her forget her day. It really was a tough day for her. Um, and, you know, it was two, two shoots in a row where it was just like, oh, dear God, I don't want to shoot, um, not me, her, uh, cause, because she had rough days. But, you know, loosening her up and making her have fun and force her into being a little crazy uh, really worked in the end because the, the photos we were getting after she forgot, you know, life around her, um, it was worth the while. Uh, like, it, And uh, obviously it's fun during the shoot, too. Um, I have as much fun as she does during these shoots. And I do this with every subject I have in the studio. Maybe not to this extreme, though. So this is, like, really, really close. And with this, it's going to absorb the light on this side, and I'm going to get more of a dramatic look and hopefully drop out that backdrop. But I'm going to do a quick shot without flash so you can see what I'm getting, you know, just with the camera, because the light from the window isn't uh, doing anything at all. Now, it's really important that ambient light, especially in my studio, doesn't affect the, the end photographs because it has that solar shield on it or whatever it is um, that gives a blue tint. Uh, so i got to make sure that I'm not getting any ambient light in with the photos. Again, I could just close the shade, but if I don't have to, you know, why? <laughs> um, it, it, the, the lights are so up that it's not going to affect it. Oh, I love so after seeing the initial shots from this setup, um, I, I noticed that I was losing the left side of her hair. You can't really see on the back of the camera, but you know, in the in the actual photos, um, you know, I was just losing it. So I wanted to add just a little rim light uh, for that separation. And you're gonna have to pump it up a little bit because you're using such a strong main light like the D two. 
Um, I'm gonna have to set this at probably power five. I, I didn't tell her the microphone wasn't on the camera yet. That's, that's why she's doing that, which I think is hysterical. That's okay. the grid. <laughs> they know that. <laughs> They're photographers. I'm assuming you guys are all professionals as well. Thank God the mic is over here. Oh, it is? Yes. Oh, is it really? Yeah, oh, it's on me. Thank God you guys are photographers. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. ASMR. <laughs> okay. So like I said, I'm setting this up just just to touch this that one side of her um, hair. Uh, to give that separation from that backdrop. You know, like, I, I know everybody talks about the inverse square law and so forth, and it, it is a thing, but um, I don't have to name it. It's just, you know, if, if you're further away from the backdrop and the light's closer to your subject, you know, the backdrop's not going to be lit. <laughs> it's just, it's common sense versus calling it a, uh, inverse square. But that's what it is, and it is a real thing. Um, I don't mean to, you know, discount it, but, you know, I know a lot of people go, you know, deep in the rabbit hole with that. And, and sometimes you don't need to, sometimes you just you need to go, okay, the light doesn't go that far. Um, but anyway, that that's the inverse square law in effect here. Um, but that little bit of rim light is great and it works. Okay, so after hitting her with a softbox, this thing is actually really, really light. You have to take the wood off of it because that'll like kick warm light back into you. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't want you to be embarrassed. I am a yellow belt. <laughs> okay, just to clarify, she's Taekwondo, not karate. But anyway, so um, turning it horizontally, uh, and, and you know, just to reiterate, it's for its size, it is really, really light. Um, but it's you know, it has weight to it, obviously, because you know, pro photo uh, softboxes this size like the metal bars are metal bars they're you know they're not so, uh, lightweight by any means uh, they're not chintzy by any means and I really want to go over that again because you know I know everybody wants easy and everybody wants you know if, it, if I can't set it up in five seconds it's too long for me I'm in a rush I have too many things to do like I'm more than willing to take an extra 10 minutes to set up this size um softbox because of the quality and because of the quality of light that I get out of it. Their interior silver is just something special. And I think that's what's given me that look uh, that I don't get from an umbrella. Now, believe me, it's really close and I can get this from an umbrella without question. Um, but there is a little bit of something different with this softbox uh, that I wasn't getting out of the umbrella. And I do like the end results. Uh, and their silver reflective inside is fantastic. Anyway, I, I hope you like the shoot and a little bit of banter. And thanks for watching as always.